Yeah, I hey, mean, why don't we I, continue to appreciate? Let's move on. Yeah, let's to appreciate our, some yeah, more whiskey. Our next bottle. Let's here. do some more whiskey, shall we? Here, here's a Hunter Lang release, the old malt cask, one of the labels they they bottle under. Uh, this is a Morklock nine year old refill hogshead, so probably a bourbon cask re, uh, restructured as a hogshead. One out of three hundred and eighteen bottles, fifty seven point eight percent. Oofed. Oofed. And I'm going on in my. Another peat and meeting. It seems like to call my peat and meeting. Glasses. So this is the, the <laughs> peat and More like a space side, right? Is that that's what I, I, I believe it is, it is a space side. Yes, yes, it yes. is. Uh, my peat and meeting glass from 2016. Um, and this this is a distillery that kind of snuck up on me because I didn't know um, that I liked it so much until I actually collected all my bottles and started organizing them by distillery. And suddenly I've got eight Mortlock bottles over there and. It just it just kind of like grew on me because we'd sample them at the UBWS and I would go oh this is a great distillery cask bottling or you know independent bottler bottling. Uh, are they all one. independent bottles? The more they marks are, you have. I think yes they are. I think they're all independent. Yeah, and then I don't think they release a lot. It is interesting to me because it is one of the like uh, I don't always like like they don't like pop out at me necessarily you know what I mean um, but like. Mortlock is one of the ones that I'm like, like when I were looking at this lineup, I was like, oh, Black Art, oh, uh, Ardbeg. And I was like, oh, Mortlock. Like, it's one of the ones that, you know, definitely I'm like, I've had good experiences with it. You know what I mean? So, it, it, as and, a newbie. And that's, that's, uh, it, it's interesting. And it's one of the things that kind of came, came across me doing the classes that we were doing as well. We, we researched every whiskey that we were, uh, you know, serving to the audience. Yeah. And, and a lot of it, all the big companies, you know, the Santoris and the Diageos and all that, just suck up all of this amazing, amazing, amazing whiskey, and you don't get to see it until it's in an independent bottle. Yep. These guys, whoever they might be, whether it's uh, the Laying family, uh, A.D. Rattray I mentioned earlier on, um, you know. SMWS. Uh, uh, yeah, all, all of these guys, they, they go and they find these barrels and they source these barrels and it's it's, it's a delight. So, so the only way to get a Mortlock is through another independent bottler. You can't, they don't I, have like, you can't get like a Mortlock. Is that right or? I, I, I don't think I've ever seen a Mortlock. I've never seen one on the shelf here. Maybe. I don't know about back in Scotland whether they, have, they might have. Have you, have you, been, to the have you been to the free. distillery? No. I haven't. I don't know if these guys have. Uh, I don't think these guys have either. Um, Might be an adventure to go on. I, I, yeah, I mean, but there's, there's like, for instance, the Craig uh, You can get on the shelf now the 13 year old Craig and I think they do a 27 at the moment. You could not get Craig on the shelf in its own label because at one point, 100% of that went into blended whiskies. 100% of it went into blended whiskies. And, and, and we were tasting Craig at this uh, fast store and blown away by it. And then all of a sudden, uh, I know that some of the, because of the explosion in single malts and people appreciating their whiskies, some of these big companies are going, you know what, we'll, we'll stick some of that out on the shelves as well. And so we'll, you're starting so to interesting. see it. Right, because it could yeah. be 1% of their output. That's and so interesting that it was it really. all that it was all blended, and then they were like, "Wait a minute, this is better if we don't blend it." Like, oh, it's that's almost a crime. You kind of wonder how much like delightful product was like put into like a blended scotch, well, right? Well, I mean, like, if Johnny even... Walker tastes good, it must have a lot of really amazing single malts that are filtered with the grain to just like fill it and stretch it. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, it, honest to goodness, there was so many whiskeys that we've come across, and it's all used for blended whiskeys. And you're just going, <laughs> and you would cry before the end of this show. Um, <laughs> yeah, sorry, <Stuart. laughs> I got it. No, I did it. I got Stuart to cry. You're, 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 you're totally right, uh, Stuart. I have an uh, old malt cast. I've got uh, the Fault Line, which is also Hunter Lang. I've got um, uh, John Milroy, which is another independent bottler. Um, but yeah, none from the distillery itself. Yeah. I really like this nose. There's a lot of heat in it. A lot of like icy heat. Um, yeah. What is it? And there's I'll, a sweet. I'll find Actually, the nose on this I've been quite quiet, and maybe yeah. it's just where I've been before. I, it's kind of. I got there's like tight. a cotton candy or like definitely some sweet light notes. For, in yeah, there. it's the, the sweet light notes there. It's 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 more you know floral and. Uh, I want, a bit, I'm wondering a, a bit of citrus one, maybe. I'm wondering if this one might actually benefit from, and I'll try this further down the line. 
but I, I, I've got a little bit of science in it, a couple of drops of water may open that up for me. But I'm finding the, the nose a little bit tight. There's a sort of front to it, and it's it's kind of pretty obvious, and it's a, a definitely a fruit, um, yeah, citrus, but almost pear. Yeah, but it's kind of I like, would say like a tangerine, like it's like an orange, but it's like a lighter orange, a sweeter orange. Yeah, maybe. Um, maybe some banana. But, it, but too. It, it feels tight to me. It feels really tight to me. It I also like, like a something bit of mint. There that... A mint? bit of mint in there. Yeah, like spearmint. I can kind of see that in the nose. I might be crazy. But you might be crazy, but you might not be wrong. I think there's some spearmint in here. All right. Uh, That's good. Let's go for the taste. Mm. Mm. Wow. Mm. Oh, boy. <laughs> wow. This is a big space eye. This is. Wow. This is not wow. your sweet, retiring, polite space side. If the nose was hiding, nothing else is hiding. No, yeah. No. Water, water's not going to help. That is, a, that is like an open field of pure sunlight right there. That is like, oh. whoa. At noon. Whoa. It's all the way down as well. <laughs> that is, this, is, this is long. That is like, yeah, it's a gigantic field of wildflowers. Yeah. Really, it's still it going. stretches to the horizon. You can't believe the horizon is so far away, and yet all you can see is wildfires. Or yeah, wildflowers. It's just a big open sky with flowers. It's just like huge. Man, they're definitely I still, I'm getting mint in there, even in the flavor, though. Yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not finding the mint in there, but. I might be crazy. It, no, no, no. I, well, it, it's it's all whiskey, you need to whiskey is subjective it's like different people get different things uh i get some sort of leafy thing with the the flowers which which i can see is interpreted as mint yeah i don't know i'm just getting i'm definitely getting spearmint specifically i mean there's a lot of other stuff going on though It's very meaty. <laughs> yeah, definitely <laughs> also not for beginners, I think. This is this is chunky. Oh, no, yeah. This is not a beginner's not. That's a mouthful of scotch right there. Oh, so good. Yeah, yeah, it is. And why we have constantly been sucking up all of these independent bottles from what I um, just, I they, they, there's a few distilleries that we've found recently in the independent bottle world that, that we've kind of drifted towards at the society. Craig Alec being one of the other mm -hmm. ones uh, where you just don't get let down. You just, you taste, whatever you taste from them, you just don't get let down. They're just so good. Just always, not always spectacular, but solid. Also, I'm getting quite a bit of peach as well, I think. Ooh, peach. Especially in the finish. Ah, interesting. I'm not, because I'm not a fan of peaches, so that doesn't yeah, jump out to me. Me um, either, but I mean, I'll go back and try some more, shall I? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Do, do what you got to do. Find it. See if you can find take, it. Take a bullet for the rest of us. Uh, now, so are we talking about sciencing this? There was I, some talk. I might. I might. I'm do going. It. it is I'm quite going like it is quite potent. I, I would feel comfortable sciencing this. I think I'm, I'm going to science it just simply because I, I, I'm really interested in, in some of the. The, the notes that you're getting and See whether that will open them up to me. So I'll, I'll give you that. All right. Using my Bowmore dropper. I do feel like we need to take a trip to, uh, we can take an adventure to Mortlock, to the distillery. And see if we can actually get some bottles there. Because they, they do they ever sell bottles at the distillery? Or? I mean, often they do, but sometimes you go in and there's just nothing. Like Glen Morangi is just, it's just whatever they produce is there. There's no kind of distillery exclusive anything. It's mm. kind of disappointing. I wonder if you can even tour Mortlock. I don't know. I mean, most of them do at this point. Most of them go, oh, you know what? This is a big part of our business. It's it's brand building. Um, but there are still some that are not. Huh. Huh. That, just... that, that did open the nose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
I'm getting a lot more from the nose, but it's still high alcohol. Yeah. I'm actually getting the mint now that you were talking about. Oh, well done, by the way. You, you, you've obviously got a, a little bit more sensitive nose because uh, I'm definitely getting that. I don't know if I would call it spearmint, but there's definitely a, a minty something. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. That, I, it's like the field is even more open and more sunny. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But I feel like you've got an old blanket lying in there. Some wool blanket is just in amongst the, the, the flowers that you're lying on. I, I, I would say that the science didn't particularly work. Um, it kind of took a, a, a hefty hit uh, on the taste. Oh, no. The finish, okay. the finish is kind of like disappeared. It's gone a little bit too quiet. Um, and the mm. taste seems to have kind of like all dampened down, but the nose just blossomed. Yeah, I would agree with that. Um, it's a plus on the nose, but like an overall diminishment. Oh, but yeah, no, the, the, the flavor, taste. it just all kind of just like melted, it, like it just you put water on cotton candy and it just all went bleh. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's a shame. That's a shame. Because um, I was, based on how the nose had blossomed, I'm thinking, oh, okay, let's see what we can find. And then... <laughs> <laughs> well, the good news is if you've if you only poured a quarter of the bottle in there, you've got three quarters of a bottle still to go to try it without watering it. I might just do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah. It's mostly just um, like there's still flavor in the taste, but mostly just <laughs> fire, fire and um, fire and ice. <laughs> <laughs> but still, I mean, I don't, oh. I don't hate it, but. You know, I definitely no, still but, like it. I still like it, but it's not as good as it was. It's not as yeah. special as it was without the water. Yeah. It just shaved everything off. It, I mean, it's all still there, but it just shaved off things. And it was like, not not completely, just rounded it off when I kind of enjoyed the, the sort of dynamic of it. Yeah. Initially, it was, it was kind of spiky in places and there was a lot of meat to it. Uh, but this seems to have just rounded it. And, and Stuart, if, if, can, can I just say, because I mean, you guys taught me this, it, it, in the 19 episodes we've done, one of the most common things that people are most surprised about is just how much adding one drop of water can well, yeah. change the taste. It, like it, it, sometimes for the better, sometimes for the worse, sometimes kind of neutral, but it can dramatically affect it. And most people were like, no, I never would have believed that in advance. And, and it, that it, is just consistent over, you know, 19 episodes. It literally is science. It literally is science. It's about how the, those molecules, like the water molecules, and all that. And like, I wish Colin was here to explain it more thoroughly. But, but, but ultimately, yeah, it is it, that one drop of water? It's all those super complicated proteins and how they interact with each other, and the water like pushes them apart, or you yeah, know, yeah, like, yeah. Alcohol, yeah. Kind of things, them or, yeah. yeah, it's amazing. It's, it's really yeah, amazing. Mm. Uh, and and it's it's something that I've always kind of. Uh, hesitated myself because I just hate to spoil yeah the natural product can't take it out so my internal body just doesn't want to do it <laughs> however we force ourselves to do it because there have Sometimes. been times some whiskies that just like just flower up and just become this new world that you're kind of going Wow. Ah, okay. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's it feels counterproductive when I'm doing it, but but we do it specifically for the society so that we can actually say, well, we've done that, we've tried it, and our recommendation is this, and we don't always have an agreement. That's the good news, cause, and that's why we try and get uh, as many people in to do that first ta taste test and do it with water uh, so that we get a, a, a better value in whether that recommendation is correct or not mm -hmm. um and it is surprising you get, more, you get, more, you get more data points you get more data points yeah, yeah it's, it's yeah simply that and yeah. and, and it, it, it it means that we can talk with a little bit more authority uh on whether that's a good idea or not um, do you guys put water in ugadol uh i we have we have and and it's to its detriment i would suggest 
Definitely. I've never, uh, I've never even tried it. Like I've, try, I've been drinking uh, Goudal for a I while, mean, and I've. It, 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 it you got a bottle. I, I trust you guys. It doesn't bring anything to the party at all. Uh, and we, yeah. we, we, we specifically done that not that long ago, because we, we couldn't remember what the recorded uh, result was. Yeah. Yeah, and we didn't have that data point, and we were like, we have to do it with you, you know. It was like, yeah. We even, oh my god, we even had done science with uh, PC five. Okay, guys, come on now. Why? What is? Why would you do that? Because you, we have to. Have to we have, we we we, have to we are uh, if we are considered the 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 um, authority at the whiskey society, then we have to put it through. Set, Someone's got to do it. Games. Yeah. Someone's got to do it. Like if and no one does it, science, you'll never know. All right. And, and have I, I've even put water in the Chinese whiskey that I, I had. <laughs> oh my god. Um. <laughs> So yeah, Joseph. One day we're gonna do an episode of just like the worst pieces of whiskey we've ever tasted, and that is gonna be the cornerstone of that one. Yeah, don't invite me. <laughs> Why would we? Why would we invite you to that? Although I would love to. I would love to have Stuart on the show with Gary. Like that'd be yes. Good, you yeah. know, where's Gary I, anyway? I haven't seen Gary. In, a different Gary. This is a, a Ouija. Oh, another Gary. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. This is a Gary. Uh, he did episodes oh, yeah. three and four with us. Um, he's yeah. the father of a of a friend of Joseph's. Uh, oh, okay. wives. This is all sort of very. I mean, you're removed. you're both you're both Scottish, but and that's not why I want to do it. You're both also very knowledgeable. Knowledgeable, that's, I think. Scotch, yeah. yeah. I just would love to hear the two of you talk. You know, that's all. Yeah. I know nothing. <laughs> what if it turned out they were like no, they were from like regions that were next to each other, but like rivalries, so they just yeah. yelled oh, it's at probably each other true. Yeah. He's, he's from South like, Glasgow, oh, you're and he's South from North Glasgow. Glasgow. Oh, well, how no, no, dare no. you? <laughs> he's a suicider. <laughs> What's well, your I'm clan? Yeah. Oh, you are? Okay, sorry. Uh, but uh, yeah. No. Anyway, next whiskey.